Guys, we're live outside the Yale New Haven Hospital uh, emergency room here on York Street. Yale New Haven Health, the fourth largest hospital system in the nation, as Brent mentioned, is keeping a very close eye on their ICU bed numbers. And as you heard just a second ago, right now, system-wide across their seven hospitals that stretch from Greenwich all the way over to Westerly, Rhode Island, 80% ICU bed capacity. The Yale New Haven Health System sits where it did in mid to late March in terms of the number of ICU beds filled. One of the reasons? We have not seen the drop off in uh, ambulatory patients that we saw in March. People stayed away from the ER and outpatient procedures in the spring, but now they're taking some of the beds. And unfortunately, we're seeing people presenting uh, with later stage of cancer and later stage of heart disease. So we want to make sure that we stay open and we make sure that we're here to provide that kind of care. Right now, Yale New Haven Health system-wide is treating roughly 400 COVID positive patients, 89 of which are in ICUs, with 35 requiring ventilators. But ventilator usage is not happening as often as in the spring. We've learned that things like non-invasive ventilation or high flow oxygen uh, work well in taking care of these patients. And in fact, uh, we've demonstrated a real reduction uh, in mortality this time around. While encouraged by the prospect of three vaccines being available soon, Dr. Balsasak says they won't likely be available to a large portion of the population until February or March which means that it's really in the public's hands right now about whether or not uh, we get overwhelmed or we don't get overwhelmed. He says science has concluded what are the two most important factors in mitigating the spread. One is mask up and two is avoid gatherings. Um, most of the spread has been small group, particularly family-based settings. Of course, we've heard that too. Mask up, social distance uh, when you can, indoors, outdoors. Um, and he says the science proves that that is something that helps mitigate the spread. Now, we were talking earlier about the 80% capacity uh, of ICU beds across the Yale New Haven chain. Dr. Balsasak emphasized it's their expanded ICU capacity, not their normal ICU capacity, which would only be 310 beds system-wide. We're live in New Haven. Tony Terzi, Fox 61 News.